<laughs> you want me to introduce you? Maybe. Well, welcome to Whiskey Buds. This okay. isn't normally what we're going to find on this channel um, because I'm not with my buddy. I'm instead with my wife. We decided we are going to do just, um, j just make a video just for the hell of it because she found a wonderful recipe for eggnog uh, that included bourbon. And so I thought, well, let's just make a video of it and try it out. So that's what we're doing. What are we doing? Eggnog. <laughs> All right. <Go> to... <laughs> Tell us about the eggnog. Tell me about the eggnog. <laughs> What's eggnog? I don't no, know what's eggnog. Your, the, the so what are we found. going to do? We are going to mix ingredients which are very easy to find and very simple. So even though eggnog seems to be complicated for many people, but we are going to show the very quick recipe, which everyone can do it. And our eggnog is kind of keto, low carb friendly, meaning it doesn't consist of really sugar. So that's another cool thing, right? Yes. All right. So let's start. All right, let's start. Where do okay. we start? So we have four eggs here, four eggs. Starting with four eggs. So uh, I'm not going to flip over. The recipe in the description and also the link to where we found the recipe in the description. Maybe we'll post it on somewhere yep. on the video too. I don't know. Show notes. Show notes. Yeah. Show notes somewhere we there. We don't have show notes. We just have like comment section. All right. No, we do have show notes. Okay, we are going to mix. So we are going to blend four eggs blend until four eggs. until they are what soft, smooth, right? Okay. How you call this? <laughs> that will be around one minute. One minute. Wow, it's soft. Okay. And then we are adding. We are using oh, okay. them. Now that we've got them mixed <laughs> for roughly about one minute, so that they're nice and. Mixed up and frothy, yeah, looking pretty frothy. good there. Yes. All right, now what are we adding? We are adding, adding sweetener, right? Sweetener. We just add erythritol. Okay, so we have erythritol. And I'm adding around three tablespoons. Uh, the recipe calls for a little more, but we don't want that sweet, right? Sweeteners usually are sweeter than sugar, so also trying to Yeah, so because this. we're using erythritol, which I believe I heard could do a one to one, but we still generally tend to tone it down a little bit. So we got about three tablespoons. Yeah. And then I have here mixture of spices, which are all spice, cinnamon, um, clove and nutmeg. Those four spices. So they are already mixed. I w again, we will post the exact ingredients, exact portions and sizes, right? How much we are adding, whatever that calls. So we add that to our eggs. Yes, and we are mixing for around 30 seconds. So. You want to make sure that the sweetener or sugar is uh, dissolved, right? Okay, this is yeah. how it looks like. Yeah. Almost looks like chocolate. <laughs> yeah. All right, now what? Now we are adding alcohol. The alcohol, okay, now comes the real part. <laughs> this, so. this is the part I can help with. Yes. Um, the recipe calls for bullet bourbon. Uh, we didn't have any bullet bourbon on hand. So I had Buffalo Trace. I decided that would work good enough. And we tried it in the previous recipe. And it it, it tasted pretty good. So we're going to stick with it. All right. Now. Two ounces, right? No, we need four ounces. We're doing the whole yes. recipe, right? So four ounces of bourbon. <clears throat> there we go. Four ounces of bourbon. Now we need... It calls for Hennessy Cognac. Uh, I'm assuming any Cognac will work, but when I was buying the stuff for it, we decided we would just go with what they say. And uh, it's two ounces just of that. And we have uh, a liqueur, Cognac, an orange liqueur, Grand. Marnier. Marnier. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. I ain't got a clue. But two ounces of that too. Yep. Okay, so after we add that, we also mix around 30 seconds. Okay, another 30 seconds to mix. Okay, and now we are adding milk and cream. 
um, we are using almond milk. You can use any type of milk. You can use whole milk. You can use coconut milk, whatever you like. Yeah. We are using unsweetened coconut, uh, almond, almond milk. milk. Yeah. One and a half cup. Right. And we are using cream. In our case, we are using coconut cream, but uh, you can also use heavy cream. And that's a cup. One cup of heavy cream, or in our case, coconut cream. Uh, Isabella is doing less dairy than uh, normal or than most people, so we're sticking away from the dairy. So that's why we're not doing the cream. Yeah, but you can totally use whole but cream would work. Whole just milk well. and heavy cream. Yeah. yeah. And how many more seconds? Around uh, one minute now. Okay, well, one one minute. I think that would be fine. It looks frothy. Yep. So um, the best thing would be to uh, pour this in the jar and cool it down overnight in the fridge, right? Yep. So we are going to do that, but we are also going to taste a little bit. So I will transfer this how it looks like. It looks really frothy. Really creamy. Really creamy. There is a little bit of that coconut fat still. Oops. Look, actually it's perfect. This is what mm. we got here. We may taste. How how will we how did we do that? Last time it was little less. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got oh, yeah, little you remaining. Didn't have the alcohol in it. Oh yeah. We got a little bit of here, so I'm going to pour. It looks very tasty, right? When I'm pouring from plastic container. And then. Yeah, taste is taste. I'm sure. It's amazing. Okay, the rest is spices, so I'm going to leave it on the side. Yeah, wait. When you are serving, okay, we would drink right away, right? But when you are serving, you want to add a little bit of maybe cinnamon on top. To, so it looks a little nicer, right? So garnish with cinnamon. Garnish with <laughs> cin cinnamon yeah. or uh, nutmeg, or you can stick even the cinnamon stick. Yeah. Right? Could, could disturb when the uh, spices start to settle to the bottom. Cinnamon yeah. stick, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall we try? Yeah. Let's see. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Can't smell any alcohol in there. No, I smell cinnamon Great and all the spices. The yeah, yes, dangerous. <laughs> really mm. good. Yeah. Like creamy. Frothy, it's creamy, frothy, very light. delicate, gentle. You don't really s uh, taste that uh, much alcohol. No. Of course, definitely would taste better if it's cooled down, right? Yes. Yeah. So and after we chill it, after we put it in the fridge and let everything mix for a day or for a night, like then it's really going to start turning out good. Yeah, yeah. cool. But it's good enough for me now. <laughs> All right. Cheers to everyone. Cheers. We'll catch you next time.